Okay, so this was on a 12 inch Nara alcohol ink paper. I'll show you the package. Ten sheets that come in a pack. It's in the Amazon link below my video. I started out with a whole different plan and you know how that goes. Your plans sometimes just don't come to fruition. You just kind of go with the flow and that's what I did with this one. I was going to do totally just purple. <laughs> Then I added the Prussian blue and the slate, which is almost black, and, uh, and then the, the little bit of details and just, you know, finagled it around with a, a brush and a little bit of 91% alcohol. So it's a, um, this is something I might just mount to, say, a round board and maybe put it inside of a frame. I'm not real sure how I'll present it but um, anyway I think it's really pretty it was again not anything like I had planned so I will seal it really well with a UV protected uh, spray and um, so I have a nice you know kind of the same finish all over because when you use alcohol inks as you can see some will look matte some will be shiny I like it to all be a little bit more cohesive so um, I hope you enjoyed just uh, being entertained. This took me an hour and a half or so to complete. Uh, so, you know, if you see a fast speed video, you kind of wonder, oh, how long did that really take? Well, this one took an hour and a half, and uh, usually with alcohol inks, I go a little bit quicker, but this one took me a, a while. I even pulled out my airbrush, which I use rarely, but I wasn't getting the effect I wanted with my blow dryer, which was on a low cool setting. It was too much power, so I was able to control it a little bit better with the um, the airbrush, you know, air spray. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you're inspired and to try just whatever. And you know, if things don't go as planned usually, which is what happens with any kind of fluid art, alcohol inks, just take it and run with it and uh, do whatever you're called inspired to do. Um, I even had thought about doing a green look around here but I thought no nah, I'm gonna just go with the, a black or a soft grayish black um, charcoal color. So that would have been pretty too with the greens you know almost would have given a little bit of a leafy look around the edge but uh, this is just pretty abstract and contemporary looking I don't know. You know, I'm very realistic in my typical style of painting, so I love playing outside of the box and just enjoying the process and letting your mind go to other places and um, create. Just enjoy creating. So, thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next video. I love you all. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.